right now. Right now, whatever how nice he was, that is the end of him. This epitomizes the pain Harila Ramsunda feels after his son, 44-year-old Rodney Ramsunda, was killed while on his way to a nearby shop. The elder Ramsunda recalls it wasn't even five minutes after his son left home that he got the tragic news. You, you know when these big trucks and them have to lift heavy weight, they just have something like in an L shape, like two legs just come out from in, on the side, the both side, and go down, and then they just raise the weight up. That is what fly out and knock the boy out. He ain't even see something coming because he going this way and the truck coming from behind. And when that happened now, underneath the tail piece of the truck in the end, the tray, they have two pieces of angle iron, those H-beam iron, weld in an angle, like that is what mash up the brain. Mr. Ramsunda says as someone who is familiar with the job, he knows what safety protocols to observe before the operation of the truck would include checking the tires, oil and other equipment on the vehicle before the ignition is turned. And my big son is an A1 mechanic and he's showing them there and talking and telling the police that is negligence. He wants justice for his son, who was disabled due to an injury he suffered climbing a tree as a boy. Ian Wason, TTT News.